Hey everybody, welcome back to our video fly tying series. I'm Steve Worley, owner of the Worley Bugger Fly Company. And today I'm gonna to show you the three stage snowshoe mayfly pattern. And the reason we call it the three stage is because there is a, an emerger, a cripple, and an adult. And uh, today we're gonna to start off in this video showing you how to tie the emerger pattern. And since it's May, we're having big March brown hatches, uh, March brown mayflies hatching on the uh, Yakima River here in central Washington. So I'm going to tie the March brown version of this, but you can easily tie it for uh, blue wing olives, PMDs, green drakes, any specific mayfly hatch that, uh, that you want to encounter. Uh, you just have to uh, tweak some of the ingredients, some of the colors. So uh, I'm going to show you how to tie the the, uh, the snowshoe three stage here, March Brown, so stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started here building the three stage snowshoe March Brown. So the emerger. Very important that we start off with the uh, correct hook here. So in the vise, this is a SE5 lightning strike up eye emerger hook. Uh, so designed to push upward, ride low in the water. So really good, strong, super sharp uh, scud emer up eye scud emerger hook. So the first thing we're going to do, lay down a thread base. Go all the way back to the band, right where the shank and the band kind of meet. And you can stop, just uh, your thread should be right here, back behind the point. And the first item that we're going to add is the tail. And this is just some speckled pardo Coke de Leon fiber. And you're going to want to snip off. several fibers of the feather and then you can kind of get your measurement here you want it about the same length as the as the shank maybe just slightly shorter so we'll lay that up on top and you can just make a few thread wraps and then you can adjust it if you need to and once you got that in place bind that down cut off the excess and then wind your thread backwards and that should push the tails down along the, the bend there Okay, so your next item is you're going to create the body, and you're going to do that with a turkey biot. <clears throat> These are stripped turkey biots. Since, since it's a March brown, uh, I'm using the March brown color. So you'll strip off one quill. And when you do this, you'll notice that the quill is, is, is formed two ways, and it's 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 making kind of a swooping motion upwards you want you want to lay that portion down on the on the shank and tie it in tie it in with the tip so you have the the widest portion of the biot to work with this is what's going to form your segmented body okay so you can tie that in so you got to be careful when you're wrapping these forward so 
So we're going to counter wrap them. And this is going to create the segmented look on the fly. So just work it forward. Until you come to where your thread is stopped and then you can tie the buy it off. Get in close there and snip off the excess. You can see that's created a nice segmented look to your mayfly body. So next what you're going to do is you're going to grab your snowshoe rabbit. This is a really snowshoe rabbit's feet really really super dense fur uh, on the on the bottom of the hoof and uh, you know designed to keep moisture away from uh, from the rabbit. So it's a really, really dense, thick fur. What you're going to do is you're going to get in there right next to the bone with a sharp pair of scissors and you're going to cut out a chunk. And you can see how dense it is. There's a lot of under fur inside there and that's that under fur that's what keeps that keeps all the moisture away from the animal when it's in the dead of winter so it's a it's a great dry fly emerger type material so you can see it's really since it's so dense it's really hard to stack so what I do is I just Cut our tip straight there, and then just switch it over in your hand. And then we're going to lay it right up on top. This is going to be our wing. Since this is this fly rides really low in in the in the film, this is going to be sticking up. This is what you're going to. This is going to be a visual for you. The trout really aren't going to see this much. They're going to be they're going to be looking at most of the the body that's laying in the in the film. So you'll just take this and you'll lay this up on top. And usually, what I like to do is just kind of trim it away a little bit from that eye to where you got a good where you got a good length. You can always trim the back portion of it too if you need to again. And then we'll secure this down. And that will form your your wing. Once you get that in there, you can just feel how dense it is. Sometimes it's really difficult because the fibers are all erratic. They're not all the same length, so you don't have to really worry too much about it. I try to get it just to, you know, as straight and as aesthetically looking as I can. So once that's tied in, then you're going to grab a piece of foam, and this is one millimeter strip, okay? You don't need this super wide, you just want it about as wide as what the fly is, you can see just so it shows up on both sides. And you're gonna lay this up on top. And you're gonna tie this in. What I like to do is just pull that up. You don't wanna crowd the eye of this fly. So go move your thread forward to about two wraps in front of the eye. And then Bind the front piece of that foam down. And then you can just crisscross. And 
work your thread back to the base of the back of the foam. And then you can cut off the excess. You can leave it a little long just so you can fine tune everything right at the very end. So the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna get a is a grizzly feather. If you can, get a Cree, a grizzly and brown. It's not it's not a huge deal because this is an emerger, so it's it's not gonna be uh, it's not crucial that it's up riding on the on the surface. So we're just gonna grab a, a grizzly feather here. And I'm going to strip off some fibers on the end, exposing that quill. And we'll just bind this down to the thorax there. Make sure it's nice and tight. It's not going to pull out. And then your next item we're gonna tie in our legs and I'm using brown, medium brown crystal flash. So all you need to do is just grab one piece of this, pull it out. It's a really pretty strong flash material. It makes great legs on mayflies and mayfly nymphs. So usually what I do is just measure it out half and cut it. And then we're going to take it around the back of the thread like so. And then we're going to mount it into the thorax. And then what I like to do is just make a couple of thread wraps in between the front and the back legs and pull tight. That way they're not coming out. You can pull on it. It's secured. Okay. So we're going to take our other piece. Same thing. We're going to lay it in our thread. Pull it right to where you want the legs to go. Make a few thread wraps in between, tight, pull tight, and then you can you can get those in place where you want them. You could trim these back a little bit. I would just keep them long, like so for right now, and then again you can fine tune it at the end. So at the very beginning of the fly, we pulled out all this under fur. We're gonna use this as our dubbing. So move your thread to the back. We're gonna lay down just a little small base of this under fur snowshoe. Just need a little bit, you don't need a lot. And this is just going to give us kind of a foundation for our hackle. And this also kind of helps splay our legs so you can you can pull those legs back and then just move your dubbing forward. If it's a little thick, just pull it out. Pull some off. Okay, I got a little much. You can just pull it off the thread. So you can see how nice that lays down and creates a thorax there. Gives you a nice base to wrap that hackle into. Make sure your, th your eye is not crowded, your eye is still exposed there. So you have a place to finish this off. 
Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna wrap our hackle forward. You don't have to worry about heavily hackling this, about three turns of hackle is adequate. Lock this into place, tighten it down. Be careful not to cut those legs off. foam up out of the way to make a couple half hitches whip finish whatever you like cut your thread away and now you can just fine tune a little bit at a time till you get your dimensions correct there want those legs overly long. That piece of foam, we like this piece of foam on the front, helps with the pushing the fly up and then it, letting it track across the water as well when you're fishing it. Okay, so the very last thing what we want to do with this is be careful not to cut the legs off. We just want to trim the hackle out from underneath. So that's going to bring the emerger down and bring it right into the film. And there you go. Okay, so there we have it. That is the first part of our three stage. March Brown Snowshoe Emerger. So the next video I'll do for you will be the uh, Cripple version. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll have that loaded up to our YouTube channel. Like it, subscribe. You get all the updates uh, as soon as we uh, upload our new fly tying videos or we do our uh, weekly river report every Tuesday. Appreciate you viewing. Appreciate you sharing. Have a great day. Mm.